There's a saying that the best day in the life of a yacht owner is the day he or indeed she buys the boat and the day they sell it. And I can tell you from personal experience, there is some truth to that. Because although sole ownership undoubtedly has its benefits, if the yacht isn't being used very much, then it can also make for a frustrating and very expensive experience. Luckily, there's a savvy way to enjoy the pleasures of yachting at less cost and with much less hassle co-ownership. For the most part, it's about time, not money. Our owners can afford the boats 10 times over, but they don't have the time to justify all that goes into boat ownership. The management of the boats, uh, the expenses, obviously, but the time to get out in the water. CNET carves out the, the sweet spot of, of yacht ownership. It allows you really to step on the boat, enjoy the time you have with, with friends and family, and really relax. And then at the end of the day, you step off. You're not worried about who's gonna come and fix this or maintain that or look after the crew and all the other things that typical boat owners have to be concerned about. So it's really just the enjoyable part of the ownership experience that CNET provides. Since selling its first co-owned yacht in Newport Beach, California in 2003, CNET has set up operations throughout the US. It's also gone international and has super yachts available in the Caribbean, the Bahamas, Mexico, and Europe. In fact, right now we're in the south of France on board one of its latest acquisitions, a beautiful Benetti Oasis 34 meter called Serena. Michael sees the co-ownership model as a way of filling the gap between sole ownership and chartering. But questions spring to mind. How many fractional owners are there for each yacht, for example? And what happens if they all want to use the yacht during the same busy period in high season? So typically, we'll have no more than four owners per vessel. But in some cases, we'll have two or, or three. Um, for a lot of our owners, a week, a month is about the most they'll be able to use the boat, or in the case when the boat's in Europe, you know, getting over to Europe from the US for a couple of weeks every other month, maximum. Most of our owners have other houses, other uh, things they like to do, whether it be kids in sports or travel. Boating is not the only thing they do. If it's the only thing they do, buy your own boat. Fractional is designed to be part of a, a lifestyle, which is an active family. Uh, they have other things going on. So now they can really have that ownership experience and not feel bad about a boat sitting there, not being used. So how much does it cost to have a quarter share in a yacht like Serena? Hmm. Uh, this boat, uh, you're looking at a very heavily optioned uh, Benetti 34 meter Oasis, uh, about four and a half million euro per quarter share. And then you typically will have a quarter of the operating expenses per year. But you're basically only paying for what you can use at that point. Uh, and, and for a lot of people, that's a 65-foot boat that they would have to be operating themselves. Now you have a full crew of seven, all the amenities, a super yacht, and the level of luxury and service, it's gonna be a much different experience. The CNET fleet comprises yachts of up to 40 meters from makers such as Absolute, Alpha Custom Yachts, Solaris Power, and of course, Bernetti. But as we're aboard Serena right now, I just wanted to show you a little bit more of this particular yacht to give you a better idea of what co-owners get for their money. Able to sleep 10 guests in five staterooms, including the master suite, the Oasis model is named after its standout feature, the Oasis deck that redefines how the whole aft area is utilized. This resort-style open-air terrace close to the sea with folding bulwarks, an infinity pool, and a high-low bathing platform is designed as a multifunctional family space for swimming, sunbathing, al fresco dining, and partying. So we're coming to the end of the summer season now. Can yeah. you describe to me a typical day on the water this summer? Yeah, so basically we've been starting out with our breakfast on the bridge deck, um, and then everyone moves down to the main deck over here. 
for water sports or otherwise we have the kids come outside and play and we do tender runs in and out of town if anyone's go shopping or for reservations. If it's not windy, we'll basically put people on the sun deck because it's so beautiful to put the jacuzzi on and have everyone up there. The view is insane. One of the biggest headaches for sole yacht owners is crew management, especially on yachts that are only used infrequently because then it becomes much harder to hold on to good crew. CNET has taken a progressive stance on crew retention from the very beginning by recognizing the need to maintain a healthy balance between their professional and private lives. It's uh, been a bit busy season getting Sirena up and going since the yard period, and it's been a good push probably eight months, and then my rotation starts around November. Being in the yachting industry for 10 years, and this being my first opportunity to achieve rotation is a massive benefit. Crew is an extremely important part of what we do. It's um, it maybe a little bit of a cliche, but a happy crew, happy experience on the water. And one of the ways that we've been very successful in retaining uh, top quality crew uh, and, and the longevity is through rotational programs that we offer and also other incentives. But for the most part, they become part of the family of the organization. They have room to grow. Uh, they have, we have crew members that started off with us 18 years ago as a deckhand and are now captains. So it's a big, big part of the overall experience and very important to us as a company. to Michael, spending time aboard Serena and listening to her crew, it's very hard to fault the logic behind the CNET concept. But I do have one more question for Michael. In fact, make that two questions. How does CNET help existing owners find like-minded partners to buy shares in their yachts? And at the other end of the scale, how does it work with co-owners who are perhaps ready to sell their shares? The beauty of it, this is they don't have to think about that. We've been doing this for 20 years. We have a huge database of people that are interested in this program, and we sell the shares on a regular basis. A lot of our owners will, will never even meet each other. Um, they just go to the app store, download our app, and they can look at the calendar, interact with the concierge, order provisions, look at all the uh, financials. Everything is turnkey without having to interact with any of the other owners. If they want to, they can meet. We host events and parties for the owners from time to time, but we have boats that have been going for five years and the owners have never even met. CNET calculates that by sharing the initial purchase price of a yacht and the annual operational costs, co-owners can save over 75%. That, that is a massive amount that for no other reason should give first-time owners venturing into the world of super yachts, but also seasoned owners looking for a more hands-off approach, more than adequate pause for thought. I was fortunate enough to have a family uh, and grow up around boating, and then got a passion for it. And we were lucky enough, six siblings, uh, to have a boat. And it, it's the way that my family kept us all together. And uh, that's really where the passion came from. Uh, I've always enjoyed being on the water, and um, I'm, I'm really excited to be able to give that to my family now and to our, our clients. Um, one of the things that I think we do really well is provide that experience. Um, and it's like nothing else. Uh, and, and for them to share their friends and family, it's, an, it's a very rewarding career.